What if today is that day? The day that Jesus returns to us in all his splendor and glory to judge the living and the dead. Would you be ready? Shalom everyone, welcome back to Pathways of Hope. My name is Chris Felix and I'm from Subang Jaya, Malaysia. Today's Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 39 to 48. And going back to my earlier question, if we knew that today is that day that Jesus would return, would any one of us act any differently? Well, most likely we all would. We would probably spend the day in prayer, going for confession, finding time to receive Jesus in the Eucharist, etc, etc. And as I was meditating on this question for myself, the thought came to me that ideally every day live here on earth is meant to be as though it is my final days. Because the reality is, you and I don't know when the hour that Jesus will return or even when we will meet our maker. And this sense of preparedness, readiness and vigilance is seen in today's gospel passage. Because if we are truly living this day after day, it doesn't matter if Jesus returns today, tomorrow, next year or many years from now because we are ready. And so as we live our lives today, daily, we should be connected to God, be at peace with Him, be at peace with our neighbour, and to be faithful to the task entrusted to us. Friends, I want to touch on being joyfully prepared for the coming of Jesus because we see this in verse 43. It says, Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. You see, Jesus declares that the servant is blessed, who was placed in charge of all other servants and was fine attending to his duties when his master had returned. You know, he was not blessed, not because he just happened to be doing his duties coincidentally at the very time that his master returned, but because he was always doing his duties. And that is why Jesus describes this servant as faithful, prudent, and hence blessed. So point of reflection for us today is, how would Jesus find me today at this very moment? You know, some points of reflection is, am I connected to God? Am I at peace with Him? Am I at peace with my neighbour? Have I been faithful to the work and trusted to me? If there's any lack, my dear friends, let us repent. Let us ask for forgiveness from our merciful God and return to Him. Let us release forgiveness and accept forgiveness to those who have wronged us knowingly unknowingly. Let's ask for the grace and the strength to be faithful to the work entrusted to us daily. My dear friends, Jesus is coming. Let Jesus find us ready. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, if you were blessed by this video, I'd like to invite you to like and to share this video. Once again, I'm Chris Felix from Subang Jaya, Malaysia. Take care everyone, stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.